let's try to evaluate this definite integral. What method should we use? Well, I think the first thing we should do is bring the e to the 2y to the top level. So it's e to the minus 2y. And I think the best way to do this, really the only way, would be to use integration by parts. This y is can be, if we take the derivative of this y, it'll be 1. And then we'll be left with e to the minus 2y when we use integration by parts. And that's uh, then the integral will be easy because the integral of e to the minus 2y is easy. So just to show you what I really mean there, what is the formula for integration by parts? Here it is right here. Um, for us, I think we should let u be, well, let's first just write it out, u du v dv. u is going to be y, and the dv here is going to be e to the minus 2y dy. So that's, this part is u, this part is dv, and then this integral matches with this integral. Now let's fill in the rest here. If u is y, what is du? Well, what's the derivative of y with respect to y? It's 1, right? 1 dy. And what's the antiderivative of e to the minus 2y? Well, it's going to be e to the minus 2y, but in front we need a canceling factor of minus 1 half, right? So there we go. If I take the derivative of this, I do get this, and that's the whole point. Now we're ready to start. How about I do it down here? So um, the first part of the formula says u times v, so it's going to be y times negative 1 half e to the minus 2y. And if this was an indefinite integral, we would just leave it like that. But since it's a definite integral, we do need to put these brackets to evaluate from 1 to 0 later on. And then minus the integral of v du. So v is right here. And du is just 1 dy. I don't really have to write the 1. I'll just write the y. And again, we have to remember these bounds. OK. So let's see what happens here. Uh, why don't, before I even evaluate it, why don't I just clean it up a tiny bit? We can write this as minus y. I'm going to bring the e to the minus 2y back to the bottom because it looks better. From 1 to 0. Uh, when I bring the minus 1 half, it becomes a plus 1 half. And here, though, I'm going to leave this as e to the minus 2y because when we do the antiderivative, it'll be easier. We can start evaluating this now. we got to put 1 in here and then subtract uh, what we get when we put 0 in here. So when I put 1 in there, I get minus 1 over 2e squared minus, and when I put 0 in there, that top is 0, so the entire thing is 0, regardless of what the bottom turns out to be, plus 1 half. And now we're going to do the antiderivative of e to the minus 2y. We, we already did the antiderivative of e to the minus 2y. It's right here, right? So I just have the same thing to fill in there. And that's from 1 to 0. So it's coming along. We're actually done all the antiderivatives now. Minus 1 over e, minus 1 half, over, one, minus 1 over 2e squared is there. How about I bring this minus 1 half out? Minus 1 half times positive 1 half is minus 1 quarter. And then I have this. From 1 to 0. I need some more space. Whoops. Um, this is not working for some reason. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll squeeze it in. Uh, there we go. All right, so maybe a little bit more. So what are we going to do now? Minus 1 over 2 e squared stays. Minus 1 over 4. Let's put 1 in here. We get e to the minus 2y. Or sorry, y is 1, so it's just e to the minus 2. Minus, when I put 0 in there, I get e to the 0, which is just 1. So 
So there's our answer. Um, we can probably make that a little bit cleaner. So let's see what happens. This is like that. Um, this is really 1 over e to this positive 2, right? And then I multiply the 4, so it's minus 1 over 4 e squared, plus 1 over 4. And this looks like a z. Let me fix that. <laughs> Let's uh, combine these up. How about I multiply top and bottom by 2 here? So it's minus 2 over 2 e squared. Sorry, uh, be a 4 now, right? Because I'm multiplying by 2. The reason I'm doing that is to get a common denominator. And over here, why don't I multiply top and bottom by e squared? And now we can write it as a single fraction. The bottom is 4e squared. And how about the top? Well, the positive e squared, let's put that at the start. And minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So there we go. And uh, that's our answer.